I want to get into the the because the LTL three thousand is that a is that that's a crawler right? That is a crawler. Can we bring that up, Gowdy? That awesome specimen of crane. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. So the LTL 3000 is a 3000 ton machine. Uh, this is a picture of it at our test facility in Pasco, Washington. It was built specifically for Hitachi um, for their program over in Japan. Obviously when Fukushima happened um, with the earthquake and the tsunami that put things on hold over there. So they oh. own the crane. Um, we keep it here at our laydown facility in Pasco in our test yard. Um, we exercise it for them on a regular basis, quarterly and annually. They come over, we do the inspections, uh, we run through the wire rope, we make sure that um, the fluids are good, that the track pads are moving on our crawler transporters, that everything's operating efficiently. Um, and eventually they will take delivery of the crane when they're ready to. Oh, I see. So they ordered it, and that it's on hold, basically. It is based based on how their nuclear program has been put on hold. I know Lampson's right. a private company, but I would love to know the dollar value of that crane. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over and take it to our. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going to put it? I know you want it. Yeah, I want that crane. <laughs> you could literally have a house and just build a house in the air and have it suspended from that. <laughs> you could. You yeah. could. Yeah. Um, that would be so very cool. So, <laughs> do you make multiples of those, or is that like a special design? Like, you build an LTL three thousand. Is there one, or is there five of those things crawling around? So, there is only one LTL three thousand. It was specifically designed and built for Hitachi to their specifications. Okay. If we had another customer tomorrow come to us and say we would like you to build us an LTL three thousand, we'd say absolutely. They typically take about um, eighteen months to build. Yeah. Um. This one took a little bit longer at their request, but um, yeah, we could turn one of those out for somebody in mm. the next year and a half. Okay, so it's only upon request then? Typically, and I mean, we have over 30 transi lifts in our fleet that are used anywhere in the world at any given time. Um, and those are, you know, easy to assemble and disassemble, and they can move by barge, they can move by ocean-going vessel, and they move by truck. So they're very transportable to be wherever they need to be at any given time. Uh, okay. So going back to Gaudi's question, did they... Are they all, do you build any cranes that are just, you're building them because th you think there's a de going to be a demand or are most cranes built in anticipation for a specific project? Most of the cranes that are existing in our fleet are existing. Um, the LTL 3000 was a new step for us. It is the biggest in our fleet. It was built for Hitachi. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's something. I'm oh, sorry. I don't. Did we go over the specs of that? What does it actually lift? It's we have not. It's something absurd. So it's a three thousand ton machine, as I had said, that it can lift. Um, this one is currently equipped with four hundred feet of main boom, and it has a one hundred and twenty foot jib on the top of it. Um, the maximum boom length would be five hundred and twenty feet with three hundred and twenty foot of jib. Um, kind of a, a fun. Um, fact that I like to share is the system uses 20,000 feet of two inch diameter wire. So 20,000 feet of wire rope. And um, the wires alone weigh 64 tons each. Oh my, wow. <laughs> and the maximum counterweight at the back of the crane, so you can look at the base on the very back, is uh, 6,500 tons. If you need any company to come out and do Filming or anything, we'll be we'll there. We will be there. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> That'd be great. Happy to do it. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Do you still? You've you've been with the company quite a long time, and it's family and all. But are you still amazed by the product? Yes. Do you still look at it and go, "Wow." Yes, and it's times like these where I'm learning from people, you know, that know about our industry, that enjoy our equipment. Um, that are like, what you do is amazing. What you yeah. build is incredible. These mammoth machines. And it it gives me a new pre appreciation because I grew up in it. I've been working in the industry since I was 14 years old. And I grew up, you know, driving through the yard with my dad on Saturdays and hosting dinners at our home with customers in the evenings. And then working, you know, college and, and high school breaks. Um, so to step outside and see it through somebody else's eyes through a different lens is really refreshing and fun for me. 